Welcome back everyone to Crusader Kings 2 Plus as Queen Constance II of the House Carling. And I've got exceptional news, guys. It's uh, it's truly fascinating or fantastic or whatever. Um, not that the Mongol Empire has uh, sacked Kiev. That uh, was something that happened. That's not what I wanted to talk about. We have uh, yeah, the Latin Empire that is... Uh, for some reason, been changed from the Byzantine Empire, uh, because this guy is now Catholic, uh, but his heir is Orthodox, so they're likely going to change that back. Doesn't matter to us, because we can create our own empire. The Empire of Danubia is now possible, so I, I think that's what we shall do. Um, so the Empire of Danubia exists, um, it's going to cost us a lot of money, that's fine, but uh, yeah, we can just do that. Uh, the only issue I have is if we create this right now, I think it's going to take over the title, uh, the succession laws that we have in France. And I would love to change that beforehand to an elective monarchy. But I'm not sure if that's the truth. And I don't necessarily want to lose the opportunity. Why can we create this? We're an adult and do not have a regent and we're at peace. One of the following must be true. We're lower than emperor, which is the, the case, I think. Uh, then we have two kingdoms in order to create a title. Yes, and we have two non-titular kingdom titles. So that's perfect. And then we have ruled more than five years. And one of these must be true. Realm has at least 150 holdings or 50 provinces. So it doesn't look like we're going to lose this title. Unless we're going to lose it to the king of Hungary? But he only has one kingdom, so I don't think he can create it. So, I think at the moment, we can kind of hold off on creating the empire. But the thing is, we're going to be able to create one. And that's amazing. Uh, I just would love to change the succession before that happens, so we don't have to change it several times. Which might still be the case, but if we can avoid it, that would be amazing. Okay, our husbands is actually getting a better commander. That's cool. Our marshal is training. And I've been obviously improving relations with various um, people across the board. Um, still, there's a few that don't like us, but I think I'm very conf confident actually that we're going to be able to change the succession laws, create this empire, and just be amazing. Um, I was actually thinking about cancelling our ambition. We can't do it yet, um, and I decided not to do it anyways, but I'm glad I didn't. Um, Regardless, because, uh, yeah, we will be an empress. Unless we die now, which is always possible. Okay, and we've improved relations with this guy significantly now. So he actually likes us, which is pretty amazing. Um, he's also excommunicated, which is obvious because he doesn't actually follow the right religion. Um, yeah, okay, when can I change this now? I'm still waiting on the 10-year reign mark. Um, currently, no one is fighting, and we can improve relations with our vassals. Well, any time, really. We just need money for that. And we have a new Duke of Oxford. I think I had this guy's... Oh, I actually went to his feast. He invited me, and I decided to come. Um, so that's nice. But I will not go to your feast so sorry on that one it's just the way it is and you okay so Bill, you don't actually you're not married maybe you should get married can I arrange a marriage for you that's maybe matrilinear would that be I have only this one guy who's not particularly great so I think I'll just leave you to it you're only 19 so that's fine and wow, our husband is improving once again. This time, by, oh wow, another three. He took the 33% chances two times. That's actually amazing. His base stat is 13. And Brother Kazumi is a saint now. Good for him. Um, I'm just kind of stacking up money at the moment that we can throw it at our vassals. Once we've ruled for 10 years. Vaxim prospers. Oh, that's... That's amazing. Um, but let's quickly check out when we have taken over. We inherited six years ago. Okay, so we have four more years to go. 
in order to or before we can actually change our succession uh which seems fine by me and we should still be able yeah okay nothing is stopping us from killing the empire and ah i'm glad to report my success they should trouble you far less than if in the years to come that's nice not sure what i send this guy off ah that, he's actually giving this message to me. Hmm. Nah, right, whatever. We have a new Duchess of Gascony. She's been, uh... Yeah. She's managed to, uh... Take some land away from Duchess Teresa. She, she's still six... She, she's 60 years old. That's amazing. She's still around. Um, wow. I don't know. This woman is kind of crazy. And what's this now? Ah. Uh, so my fellow vassals believe that you personal hold far too many titles. Oh, I, I was just talking about you, and now you come here. Wait, you hold more title. What? What is this? Oh my god, we're gonna have a war now? Oh, that's bullshit. We don't have too many titles. The Duchess of Alencon wants... Duh. No, this is within our... What? Come on, really? Huh, th I think this is pretty bullshit. But here's the thing. Will I risk a war over this? Over this one county? Am I gonna risk a war? I don't think so, honestly. There's so many more things at stake than this one county. Uh, because that's quite a few people. Alencon, Toulouse, Bedford, obviously Aquitaine, Tournava, and Orléans. I mean, that's an exceptional marshal. Poof. She's got 13,000. I mean, not like we wouldn't be able to win, but it seems kind of unnecessary. All right, I will, I will, uh, I will accept but I can't say I like it, particularly. All right, well, we got to do something. Um, we got to give out uh, something. I think what we will do is I'm going to give this guy back his duchy. I think that should be possible. I hope. I hope this doesn't mess up. Let's actually check this. Oh, we could create the kingdom, right. Um... I think we can safely give away a duchy without causing trouble. So uh, maybe I want to give it to someone else. This guy's content and he's Catholic. Uh, this guy's Catholic too and Greek. Maybe I want to rather give it to a Bulgarian. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this to you. He's got two. He's got turno. Yeah, all right. I'll grant you this. All right, that worked. Okay, good. And we need a new commander. Um, the Duke of Norfolk. Yeah, sure. There you go. All right. So we've made, we've kind of pacified this region. They now have a Bulgarian leading. So that's, I think, better than a Greek. Okay, but still, mm, we kind of need to wait four more years before we can get our empire. I think I'm just going to fast forward for now. Because I'm not really sure what else we should do. Pope Martinez has died. We've got another Franconian Pope. Okay, so now it seems like the Polish the Polish chain of Popes has kind of stopped. And it's now a lot of Franconians. Yeah, and I'm not going to attend your feast. Oh, maybe I should. I want to improve relations. Maybe that's something I should be doing. Um, and yeah, I don't want to be slothful. I don't think that's... That's right. Um... You know what? No, I actually don't want to come... I just I just don't feel like going there, honestly. Okay, we'll have... The Lionheart as our commander again. We've got some really... Great generals that have made a name for themselves already. Ah... Uh, I think um, we'll continue spying on our husband, even though 
I doubt that there's really much he's he's up to, honestly. He's just the heir to Croatia. That's all that he cares about. There's a traitor in the realm, plotting our downfall. Um, the marshal. Duke Adrian is in prison. The marshal's gonna imprison himself. Wait, no, who's Duke Adrian? No, it is him. Seems fishy. Yeah, I don't think Adrian. I mean, this guy loves us. Then again, he was. Hmm. This seems fishy. I should notify the plotter. Thomas is the real traitor. Hmm. Falsely convicted. Alright, I think I've just irritated his thing, whatever it is. Yeah, and now Adrian has returned to court and council. Yeah, we'll let that be. Let them fabricate claims on our stuff. I don't really mind at all. And, whoa, what? My son was eaten by the king of Croatia. Lose 200 prestige, general opinion minus 10. We can't do that. But he's, he, he ate my son. Like, what the fuck? Uh, I think this warrants trying to kill someone. He ate my, like, he literally ate my son. This is a, this is a pretty big deal, I would say. Um, so, since I can't declare war on him, because we're threatening, and everybody would, you know, see me as a breaker of whatever, uh, we're gonna have to build a spy network, and we'll kill this guy, uh, I think. Um, yeah, that's, uh... Actually, requesting an excommunication. What? You bitch. Wait, is that the only reason? Negative opinion? Because we could get rid of that. Uh, let's let's get this excommunication going. Base reluctance pretty high, too. What if I was to send you a little bit of a gift? 42. 400 gold. Fine. Now, what do you say about this excommunication? Opinion of King Ego oh, still doesn't not enough. All right, fine. Um, you are actually in Rome improving relations. You've just not been very successful. I'll send you again. Maybe that works. And we've got some technology. Maybe some tolerance. Noble customs. It's giving us tax. Sure. I would like some military organization. Construction. Some tolerance. Are we tolerant? I think we're tolerant. Alright. <sighs> so, I think I will plot to kill him. And we'll see who will join us in this plot. Okay, our Spy Masters has returned. So I hope that... This will make it a little bit easier. Anyone who's willing to join us? You are not. Hmm. Oh, the Queen of Croatia might join us. She needs to be convinced. This is... this. Do, oh, I mean, without the Spy Master, this doesn't seem to be particularly successful. Summon children to court. Oh, that's interesting. Why? Uh, that that would be cool. I would love to do that. Um, hmm. But anyway, okay. Let's just move forward. Mm. We we're kind of in a tough spot because there's there's not much we can we can do at the moment. Uh, because I want that empire. I don't want any civil wars going on. I want to I want to have my 10 year reign so I can change some laws. Uh and we're being denounced. Ah, oh, of course. I should have imprisoned this guy. I should have imprisoned him. Can I imprison him still? 
Duke of Norfolk, Duke of Poitou. Uh, yeah, I'd rather not. What are you fighting now? You are attacking him for, for the Duchy and County of Perigord. Yeah, you're probably going to just retake that, I would assume. Hmm. And what's this? Against King Pierre of Jerusalem. What, what do you have to do with Pierre? Over Gwyneth. Wait, does Jerusalem hold Gwyneth? This is weird. Wait, is he, uh, Jerusalem is declaring a war. And he's winning this. Yeah, okay, well, I don't want Jerusalem to hold this. Who are we fighting now? Oh, we're fighting Armenia and Jeru- That's- uh, That's actually kind of interesting. Um... And who holds this? This is held by Jerusalem. Well, okay. That's something I would have not expected, to go to war with Jerusalem. We've got a few troops here that we can get together. Yeah, that is certainly a war I did not think I would be fighting. At all. Ever, really. Okay. So, we don't really have a whole bunch of troops, but... I mean, actually, it's a few. It's still 6,000 men that we can raise, so that's... You know, not to be underestimated. And now... Armenia, I don't know how many troops you have got. 9,000. I'll probably take some troops here again. 25,000. I'll have Dragomir. You'll take control of this army. And we'll send you to prob... Oh, Jerusalem has actually been besieged. That's kind of amazing. Um, I mean, it kind of depends where their main army is. How many troops do you have? You've got 13,000. Yeah, I think we'll go to Jerusalem. And and see what we can do here. Wow, that is certainly not what I had expected at all. And I'm not sure how I feel about this. Either. Oh, okay. They've got 14,000 men here. That's kind of a lot. So, we'll need to raise some men from Normandy. And... I've got a few here as well. So, I think what it will do is, we'll change our course, and we'll send our troops up here to Chester, and we'll see if we can do some damage there. We do need a new commander, Duke of Norfolk, yeah, come on, just stay my commander, please. That'd be helpful. I mean, it's 82%. And what's this? Caring for the sick and the firm is one of our duties. Oh, yes, our marshal. Okay, we'll we'll visit them. See so what we can do about that. Uh, Three thousand five hundred men. Make your way over here too. We have somewhat of a force, but if they decide to attack us right now, I don't think we would be able to stand a chance. I'll have you and you lead these. Troops. There's some good news. Uh, Stuart likes our humility. That's perfect. And now that our large army is coming. Wait, who's controlling this? Navarra. King of Castile. He seems to have kind of consolidated his realm a little bit. Uh, okay. Now, yeah, I think we'll, we'll land and Dragomir is going to lead the relief efforts and once we win a few battles here that should be good okay there is the king king pierre i wonder if we should actually well we should probably send more reinforcements just as commanders for the flanks to make sure this is this is happening the way we want it happen okay and we crushed them for some reason we changed who's attacker and defender but either way it's fine and we'll have 
24,000 men move. Probably just assault what's happening here. I caught her in flagranti with the spy master. I smell profit. She's pretty. Uh, married to a pretty old dude. Her lover is a bit younger. Do I care? Do I care? I, I don't think I care. I think that we have other things to worry about than scandals at court. Uh, let's liberate this and then we'll crush these 5,000 men. And that shall be the end for this war, hopefully. Can't believe Jerusalem is getting involved in anything up here. It seems kind of ridiculous. Shouldn't they be worried about other things than whales? Not exactly, you know, what you'd think they would focus on. And yeah, Brittany, this queen, is all of a sudden very freaking old. <laughs> she looked so much younger before. But yeah, she's having some real issues. Um... Which, I'm not sure if I'm going to help her with that. But we will try and take this. And probably just destroy this 1,000 army. Carvuna prospers. That's great. Crush these 1,000 men. Retake the lands. I think they are winning in... Here? Yeah, I don't know what the Armenians are doing. But they don't seem to be particularly involved. So that's great. You go here. Ah, oh, shit. There you go. Come on, let's let's finish this off. 30,000 men. Take this. All back. 29%. Oh, yeah, this is looking good. Okay, 71. And if we take this last castle, um, that'll be it. Perfect. 100%. We can move out of the way. Stand down our troops. You've won. Uh, we will. I mean, we won. Whatever. Stand down. Okay. Now, two titles. Can I change my laws? We still haven't reigned for ten years. Ugh. God. All right. Well, um, we won't be able to change our laws now. We won't be able to get the empire now. But soon enough, we will. And look at Castile consolidating uh, the uh, Iberian Peninsula. There. This has. This has been a mess for a while, but I'm glad to see some order restored. Anyways, that was it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.